What's going on guys? So we are out here at the property and looking at the Black Series and I have an interesting issue that's been going on. It's been going on for a while and you may have even heard it in the video where I was moving some of my trailers out here. So this Black Series has of course a carbon monoxide and an LP gas leak detector in it and it just starts going off all the time. And you know, when I first came out here, I was like, maybe I need to disconnect the propane because there could be a leak or something. So the propane has actually been disconnected for some time. Everything's shut off completely. It's well ventilated down here. This is empty. This is the one that was connected. And there's no propane running in this. I've purged the system, nothing going on. I feel like an amateur here because I don't understand specifically why the LP detector keeps going off. When I open the door to air it out, it pretty much stops going off. Sometimes it'll kick back on for a little while. I'm wondering if I have a defective uh, detector and the light on it will show either carbon monoxide or LP and it's flashing LP. But at the same time though, when I open up the door, it doesn't go off anymore. So I've had the door open for about maybe 45 seconds now and it stopped going off. But pretty much every time I'm out here, the thing's going off, it stops for about 30 seconds and then it goes off again. Um, and at first it's really hard in the storage facility to determine where it was coming from just because when you're in a big open storage facility with other units and the doors closed, again, it's very difficult to tell where the sound is coming from. So I'm gonna investigate a little bit. I'm gonna see what could potentially be causing the uh, LP sensor to be going off. I shouldn't have any leaks and the system should be pretty well purged. So it's gonna be interesting to find out. Okay, so I'm inside now and all the gas is turned off. The furnace is turned off. The sensor is right down here. And again, it just starts going crazy on me and I'm not 100% certain why. So obviously the gas is being detected in here coming from somewhere, I just don't know where. And again, once I open up the doors, it stops going off and uh, it pretty much aerates, I guess. So very interesting little issue. I'm not again sure what could be causing it. Um, I guess there could be some gas, residual gas left in the lines. I'm gonna leave it ventilated for a while. I'm gonna open up the, uh, the stove porch right here just to purge anything that might be in it and get it out. I don't smell anything. That's the crazy part. So I have absolutely no idea where it could be coming from. And, you know, hopefully the thing's working correctly and it is detecting something. I mean, that's what it's designed for. But interestingly enough, when it was in the storage facility, I would open up all the windows and just let it ventilate while I was doing some other task. And sometimes it was hours at a time. And again, this is with the, the propane disconnected from the front. And I would still get that thing going off a day or two later. I'd come back out here and the LP detector was going off again. So... Not sure what it could be. Let me know if you guys have experienced anything like that before. Um, because again, it's it's definitely concerning. You don't want that going off. And it started doing that after the last trip we went on, which was about a week and a half ago. So it's been doing it for a little while now. And, you know, just trying to diagnose where it could be coming from or what could be causing it. And I'm sure it could be some residual gas coming from something, but this is what I did last time. So I came out here, I opened up all of these, had all the windows open just so it would air out. It stopped doing the chirp just like now, it's not going off anymore. But then, you know, a day or two later I'd come out and it still wouldn't be going off. But then all of a sudden I'd come out another day later and it would be going off. So very, very interesting situation. Just trying to figure out what it could be. Okay, so I have, all the windows completely open. Even the roof vent is now open. Got the screens closed though. Really nice little breeze coming through here. And you know, a lot of people asked in a video before why these curtains don't blow around when you have a breeze. And there's not much of a breeze right now actually, but they really don't blow around at all because they're pretty heavy. I mean, it's a pretty heavy fabric. So even if you have a heavy wind, it's gonna kind of funnel through the center of it to get out and it's not gonna make these things blow all over the place because this is a very, very thick fabric that they use for the curtains, which is really nice. But something interesting worth noting is, and people saw this in the last video, if you have this down, you have wind coming in right now. You can actually see how it's pushing it out. And some people think that they were installed incorrectly, but if I close this window, it, 
comes back out. So any wind blowing on this at all is gonna cause it to push out because this is a really light material. And you can see how it's pushing out a little bit. If I close this window, you don't get that anymore. And there's a good breeze. So you can see a little bit of stuff moving here, but the curtains are heavy enough that it really fights that breeze. So if I close this, now check it out. It's not pushing out at all anymore. Everything goes up and down just fine. So again, some people were concerned thinking that, wow, these things aren't aligned properly. They're not set up properly. You'd really be surprised how much of a cross breeze you get coming through this window. And there's not much of one right now, but once you open this up and you drop this down, you can now see the wind blowing on it right here and it makes it a little bit more difficult to open because the wind wants to kind of push it out. But again, once you close this, you don't get it at all. So big window, that's probably the reason why. It's a very large window and good breeze coming through. Again, I know people are expecting these to be flapping in the wind. It's not that type of breeze, but it is certainly a cross breeze. It feels about as strong as you would typically feel with maybe a fan blowing on you. More than enough for the surface area of this when closed to collect that wind and start parachuting out. So yeah, before you mess with this top blind, you want to make sure the window's shut. So I've been in here for a solid 15 minutes. It has not gone off again, which clearly means it's ventilating once I open the windows and open the door. I'm going to keep investigating what it could be. I still have the stove wide open. I'm going to leave it open like this for a while. I'll be out here for a while, so I'll just leave it open like this so it can get a good breeze coming through it, air it out, and hopefully that's all it takes. I've done this a couple times now, so I'm really interested in finding out what was causing a propane buildup in here, specifically because I didn't smell anything. I didn't smell anything at all, so it had to have been in a very, very low concentrate, but we'll keep diving into it to see what it could potentially be. And one thing to point out real quick, I talked about, you know, moving the RV and occasionally coming back to drawers being open. And this drawer was open. This cabinet down here was somehow open. So obviously, if you hit bumps, things like that, some of these can open up just because they're relatively heavy drawers. And I guess that little bounce can cause it to open. I liked the unit that I saw at the RVX show because it, I believe all the drawers had locks on them. So whenever they closed, you had this kind of interesting locking system that would lock them all shut. And, you know, I haven't been over any really, really rough terrain in this. So I can imagine that if you own this and you plan on taking it out to, you know, desert environments, things like that, where you might be going over bigger rocks, you know, more extreme off-road conditions, that you're probably experiencing the same thing if you have the same type of drawers, basically the kind that you push in and they pop open. Um, not a big fan of this. I do wish that they would have maybe soft closing drawers instead. That way they at least pull themselves shut whenever they open slightly. But I do think that it would be important to have those on here because you don't want stuff that you have inside storage just popping out on you and giving you problems. And these drawers that pop open and close, they don't work perfectly all the time. Like this one right here is giving me a bit of an issue. So this is a cabinet, but you have to push it in to open it. And I believe this is also one of those drawers that we've kind of had that issue with or cabinet doors that we've had that issue with. Anyways, you know, very cool unit. What I like about having it out here on our new property is I can essentially boondock it because you look out the window, you know, that's a pretty incredible view. And then you look out this window and that's also a pretty incredible view. So real happy with it so far. We're going to have it for about another month and we'll uh, figure out some other interesting things to do with this and places to take it. And um, I'll let you know if we have any issues, any problems, and what we love about it and some of the challenges that we've had. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we will talk to you again very soon.